Well, it's incredible. When I look back to January when we were in Losail and we first saw the bikes and then the team got the bikes sort of in February when we were just about to go into lockdown. And then suddenly fast forward here to Brands Hatch in October. It's been fast and furious, but it's been incredible as well. The team have worked so hard to get the bike ready with very little testing opportunity. And then we sort of launched onto the scene at Donington and our expectations rose, quite rightly. I'm really excited now about the potential for the Blade and the team because we've really established ourselves this year and can't wait to get stuck in next year. I think um, to be in that position coming into the last round with the possibility of, of winning was a great achievement for the team and for the riders. To sign for Honda Racing was a dream and to uh, have the task of developing the all new Honda Fireblade. Off the back of a, probably a difficult year for myself was uh, there was a lot going on so you know, we managed to re-establish ourselves, I think, to a, a stronger point than where we were in 2018, which was when I was probably at my previous best. And doing that whilst developing the old new bike was uh, was class, you know, it was really enjoyable. The 2020 bike has been a big step in performance, so straight away we had a lot of motivation to keep improvement. Do you know, it's things that maybe you don't think of or people don't see on a picture that has made a, a big step in performance, even you know the way they warm the bike up with oil heaters, things like that. The first race, I thought, oh my God, if this is how Brands is going to be, it's going to be one hell of a final. And the one devastating thing is that you wish you had all the fans here because the atmosphere of what actually happened on Saturday's race was incredible, absolutely incredible. And you know, fair play to the top five for racing in that close proximity. I think you know that, that's going to go down as one of the strongest races of this season. The first race uh, yesterday, I think I came seventh. Uh, which was okay. To be honest, um, I wanted to help Glenn as much as I could because I, I wanted my brother to be British champion. Uh, unfortunately, he wasn't able to be, but we made the most out of that. I think he was sick and I was seven. If somebody had told me I'd have been a consistent top 10 finisher at the start of the year, I'd have took that. I'm happy with the progress we've made and the team's worked awesome with the new Fireblade. I've never been this fired up for a race. I wanted that championship so badly, but I knew if I could get through on them first few laps, I'd be there at the end to battle the championship out with Chrissy. So it didn't go to plan. I wanted it too much too soon, and I didn't have anything to lose. I was second in the championship anyway. So yeah, I decided to pin it through caution to the wind. Sometimes it pays off, sometimes it doesn't. Our goals has obviously changed. We suddenly wanted to be the champion, and that didn't happen. And fair play to our rivals, fair play to Josh. But uh, rewinding back to the goals, the task the to do this at the beginning of the year, I think we ticked all of them. We got the one twos as a team. The one twos on the day when the stock guys were winning. I had my first win since 2018. It's been a blast, you know, and as much as we've developed, uh, our bike is still so close to the road going fire blade, and uh, that's a real testament. I would really like to thank all of our partners and our sponsors, but of course especially the team at Louth and Bracknell for a fantastic season which has gone right to the wire. And also congratulations to Stuart Higgs and the MSV team for putting on an amazing championship in the most difficult of circumstances. And like them, we all want to get the crowds back next year and look forward to having the fans around us next season.